Hi friends welcome to Loxio Tech YouTube channel. Today in this video I will teach you how to generate attendance reports using eTime Track Light software in the SSL biometric system. Also teaches how to edit employee details and create shift groups too. If you don't know how to register eTime Track Light software, then please check our description box. There is a video link about the installation and registration process. After installing and registering, log into the software. For generating attendance details, click Utilities from the top menu and open Device Management. Here you can see the listed devices for downloading the attendance log. The first option, TD is used for copying log files via IP address using a patch code or RJ45 network cables. If you already set the IP address and connected the biometric device using a network cable, then use the option TD to copy attendance log files. Here, I am using a USB pen drive for copying and uploading attendance log files to the software. If you don't know how to copy attendance log details to a USB drive for uploading, then please have a look at our previous video, which will teach you to copy attendance log files from the ESSL machine to USB. For copying the attendance log file to USB, under the device name, select USB. Then click Download USB. From the browser, open the USB drive and select the attendance log file that is already copied to USB. Select the log file and click Open. It will start uploading attendance log details to time track software. Please wait for a moment to complete the uploading process. Data downloaded and completed successfully from USB. The next step is to generate attendance details. For doing that, go to the attendance report option on the top menu and select monthly reports. Here we can see monthly basic reports, summary reports, work duration, etc. Here I select the monthly basic report. In this menu, we can also select a report type and report date and also sort the report by department wise, etc. Click Generate to get the attendance details. Here are the attendance details. You can directly print or save this as PDF or as an Excel sheet also. You can generate different types of reports according to your needs, like the basic report, summary reports, basic and detailed work duration, overtime summaries, monthly and hourly wise summaries, etc. The next step is to change staff details. For changing staff details go to Masters and Open Employees. Here you can see the list of already added employees. Employee code, employee name, company, department, designations and other details. For editing or changing details, select any of the employees and click Edit. Here you can change or edit all the details of that selected employee such as name, employee ID, company, department, designation, shift group, category, photo, etc. Add it and change the details if you want, and click Update to save. The third step is to change the shift groups, go to Masters, and then select Shift Details. Here already have a default shift time. You can add another shift, or edit the existing default shift time also can set the punch beginning time and closing time. And can also set punch to begin before time, punch end after time and buffering time or grace time too. Click update to save. And click add to create a new shift time or group you can also set the beginning and ending time of the new shift time and also modify the punch begin time, end after time and grace period too. A new shift group added successfully. Now here you can see two shift groups. You can add more shift time according to your needs. After setting the shift details and punching time, 
go to Masters and open Master Settings, and set the details here, whatever you want. You can also add departments by open departments in the master menu. Can also update departments, designation, categories, etc. by opening employees from the master menu. Right-click any of the listed options to edit it, or can delete any of the employees by selecting the employee and clicking the delete option from the right side menu. These are some basic tutorials of ESSL Time Track Lite software. Hope you understand the details given in this video. If you have any doubts, please do comment. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Please subscribe for getting more upcoming videos about ESSL biometric system while generating attendance details using eTime Track Lite software. If you facing an error, unhandled exception occurred, then check the link in the description to solve the error in eTime Track Lite software by ESSL Systems. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.